Hello guys, my name is Missing Utah, and welcome back to another custom NPC battle. This is actually going to be against a pre-existing mob, Iron Man vs. the Hammerhead. Now, who knows who will win? Actually, I do, but I'm not telling. So, Iron Man is wearing his Mark 42 armor, by the way. And while most people don't really care about that... Some people might, especially since I may make versions of Iron Man with different armors in the future. So, our previous battle was Hitler vs. Vader. If you missed that, then go and see it now. And let's see what Iron Man thinks of the battle. I beat Galactic Overlords every month. I just have to pose for the ladies first. Well said, Iron Man. And our opponent is a mob, so he can't talk. So, let's begin! By the way, it should be obvious, but the hammerhead isn't mine, and it's taken huge damage. But Iron Man's taken some damage, too. And so... Ooh, ouch. And by the way, do I, I do have damage indicators installed. I'm just turning off the GUI for suspense value. So Iron Man has no armor, so this hammerhead's hitting him with full force. But it is dead. Hmm. And my inventory's being clogged up, but... Let's see how much health Iron Man has, shall we? He has... Okay, that actually took him down pretty far because it was able to get him in the corner. So I want to try against two hammerheads because I think that if he doesn't get in the corner, then he might get luckier and be able to beat both of them. But as you can see, quite powerful. And by the way... A lot of the NPCs in this mod don't have armor values, they just have health, so... The high health doesn't necessarily mean that if a mob has 5,000 health, it doesn't necessarily mean they have more health than Mobzilla. It means they almost certainly don't, to, to be honest. But, honest, but... Really, I think you had to kind of accept this one. The Hammerhead can kill a player with diamond armor in a couple hits and fling him into the skies and stuff, but... In this armor, Iron Man's tanked nukes and fought Thor and people like that, so... I mean, he's fought Hulk, I th even, I think, although he's not that as powerful, but still. What I'm trying to say is, he's... He's just a lot stronger. So, just doing that, increase his health back to full. And I kind of wish he'd come over here. Actually, I don't think I can make him, so... See you, see you for the next fight. Oh, by the way, you may be wondering why the arena is like this. Well, basically, I used the fill... I went into an unmodded world, used the fill command 1.8, and made this huge arena. And... Since I wanted a big ceiling, because we might be fake... have taller mobs in here. But I also didn't want flying mobs to escape, because I hate that. This is about the biggest I c This is literally the biggest I can make it. And it's also big enough that things can get pressed against the wall, but it doesn't happen too often. So let's have Iron Man against two of these babies, shall we? So... And so, ooh. And they're already pushing him back into the corner. Those things are smarter than you'd expect. Either they're getting very lucky, or they actually know when a mob can be pushed into a corner. And considering what I've seen from them before, I think they might actually know. But, problem is, now they're too far... Iron Man's too far away to... For either one to be aggressive, and the Hammerhead's actually moving farther away to illustrate my points. Thank you, Hammerhead. So I'm gonna just get a snowball and push them towards each other. And Iron Man doesn't, like, regenerate or anything, so this isn't changing anything. It's just making it take a little long. And really, he's aggro to me. Wait, he's aggro to me. Maybe if I... Maybe I can lure him to Iron Man over here. It won't get him out of the corner, but... Ooh, and now... His aggro has shifted. He hates... Hates Iron Man with a vengeance, and yeah. That message means he's dead. So, I guess two is too much to hope for. Thing is, the only other battles I'd done with them were in the open. And Iron Man did a little bit better there, but... I st Iron Man did a little bit better there because the Hammerhead couldn't push him up against a corner, but... 
I think two really was too much to expect here, though. So, how about three on two? See you then. And... One, two, and three! And I spun that one in the fire, but I don't care. Fire really isn't going to do much to these things. They have so much health. So now there are two Iron Men. One hammer has just chillin'. So... The two Iron Men together, I think, may have to face off against the Hammerhead, but they're going to be injured. So, ooh, looks like that, that Hammerhead's trying to corner that Iron Man, or maybe it's just moving around randomly. So, that Iron Man is dead. That's, that's not a good sign, is it? Okay, at least one has to attack this guy. Preferably not both at once, but at least one. So, Iron Man is drawing first blood, 30 damage, and he's dead. You gonna be dead. So, and we're gonna try two more battles, I think, of increasing size, and then that's gonna be it for the video. Now, we know Iron Man's still stronger than a Hammerhead, so I'm gonna do four on five here, because he, do that's, he doesn't seem to be that much stronger. But he is definitely, he does definitely have a bit of an advantage. And again, the ceiling is the highest I can make it. Phil just has a certain block height limit, so, not a height limit, but certain size that you can do. And I guess I could have made it taller by stacking arenas on top of each other. I might actually do that, but I didn't want to bust out this whole floor. So, ooh, it looks like it's down to one hammerhead suddenly. I didn't even see most of that battle. Crap, that means you didn't see most of that battle. Sorry. But in any case, I've hit the hammerhead. Come on, go over to actually here. Because then both Iron Men will be able to hit you. And he's aggroed off me, and he's dead. So let's see how much health they had. That'll help us determine the final giant battle, what it's going to be like. But, okay, this one had about 200 health left. That one had 503 so, and this guy had 291, so that's like half the health of one Iron Man. So I'd say just add one more Hammerhead to this ratio, and it's pretty good. Like in a huge battle, and it's pretty good. So, yep, I'll be right back with the epic final battle. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. And I hope they all got down, because I can't count the... Because I can't count them all. They're too big. So, it's an epic battle. It took so long to spawn them that some of them are already dying. And... That was surprisingly short. I made these NPCs, I guess, kind of so that battles between them would be pretty short. Even if... what, Unless they're really close to each other, yeah, battles are probably going to be pretty short. And, ooh, it looks like they're all dead, and, oh, there are two left, just chilling in the corner. And that hammerhead's at full health, even, so, it's gonna hit them both, get, make them both, both love me so much. And, go over here, come on. Oh, yes, and all the Iron Men are aggroed onto them, and... And Iron Man are getting hit, but will it be enough? I don't think so. Not with so many Iron Men, because the Iron Men have ranged attacks and the Hammerheads don't. I think that's that gives them a major advance in these group battles. So, it's the last Hammerhead. And, he's, and he might be able to kill an Iron Man if it's hurt. And by the way, the damage indicators was still on for that one. That was an accident, but it's okay, since we already knew how strong each one was anyway. So, Iron Man... All of them were hurt, and a couple got killed, but but still, they came out on top definitely in this fight, so that's one win for Iron Man, one loss for Hammerhead, and that's going to be it for this video. See y'all next time. Hope you enjoy.